Going to read you a story, children. Called the Ned. Oh, beautiful morning. Oh, brightest of days. Betty Davis woke up in her own mayonnaise. The evening before, it would have been such a bore had it not been for Don DeLuise and the bread. Baggy-eyed Miss D got up for some tea. She got from the bed and proceeded to pee to make room for the tea she had not yet prepared. She copped a wee quiff from a coy quaff of hair. She coughed and she wheezed as she slid down the stair to the kitchen. She staggered, clutching the leather at derriere. But all of a sudden, and much to her surprise, she jerked a painful reaction. Twas a seizure between her thighs. But what could this be? She thought as she stared. To oblivion, she looked as though mentally impaired. Then a voice from within the old womb finally said, Feed me, I command you, for I am the Ned. The Ned was a nodule of flesh, small of bread, which residing in poor Betty's hole, short of depth. It made its demands upon poor Betty's soul when its hands it did clutch. <laughs> She'd obey its commands. Through the days and months, soon the years went by. Betty Davis had learned to do its bidding, for if she resisted, she sensed the foreboding of the Ned, and it threatened to pop out her eyes. And so early one morning at about 4 a.m., quietly slipping from her bedroom on down to the den, where she had planned to remove the Ned from her womb, gliding softly to the cabinet that contained sharpened spoons. She held the spoons as though to toss a salad. She thrust them upon Betty's slit as though to conduct a ballad. She felt around and then snipping the mound, she pulled it out and said, I think I'll have my breakfast now. And popping it into her mouth, she proceeded back to bed. No more is the Ned. <laughs>